Well, I got a nice new condenser mounted up. I am aiming for the uh, best air conditioning a Series 1 has with the Smith system. So, we'll see what happens. That's a big condenser. I've got the aircon hoses into the evaporator. They just come out here for now. I'll uh, make a metal line and fix all this up. Hmm, it'll be nice. I think it's time I um, start doing spot repairs on this car now. Because today I was looking at this and I went, alright, let's peel it off. There it is there. <laughs> so, this is one reason why Ed didn't keep it. Because he sort of lived near salt air. And, yeah, it was eating the car quite quickly. So I've got to get the wire wheel out today, I think. And just fix all that up. Paint it. Just stop it rusting. Well, the roof looks like fiberglass in some places. It's bad. The boot lid's the worst. <laughs> well, better start fixing it up. Alright, that'll do. I'll just rust treat that and paint it over. It'll look like a craterous hole because of the body filler. But I'm not going to waste much time at all. So I want to get this all done by a professional. So let's strip it all back. Hmm. Yeah, I just got to fix certain spots like that was, just so it doesn't get evil and rust through. So I'll leave shit like that for now until it gets worse. But now I just do patches on it until the thing gets painted and stuff like this. Looks like it's already been repaired, but um, I'm going to rip it back and redo it again. There's a few holes, I'm starting to bubble, so I want to fix that and make it all good. Wow, bloody rain. <laughs> going to have to turn the car around now. Sort of got a screwdriver out and start hacking stick on the boot lid. Shit, there's some thick bog here. So. Um, Hacking it all back to the thin. That's a bug. Mad. No wire wheel at all. Get a bit of paint. Make it look better than it was. The other side's still alright for now, sort of. But yeah, I'm just going to seal it all up just so I can last long enough to get painted nicely. Oh, this is all sealed for now. I'll put the seam sealer across that just to fill the little holes. And, and paint it over. I didn't even bloody sand it, as you can see. Just went with my finger, let it set, and then went psh, psh. <laughs> my hand there so nothing went on the windscreen as I say it's a half ass bloody job I'm doing but there's no point spending real time doing all this stuff like you know making filling that and making it look nice no point so, going around finding bits and stopping them from turning into holes I think one day I should do the roof Well, I got a little bit carried away now, didn't I, with the screwdriver and the wire wheel. But, uh, look how thick that bog was. I'm taking it all back to metal, as you can see. I'm not going to bother going any further, because I've got a fuel tank here. I don't want to make any sparks. But, uh, I'll just seal that up, or rust convert it, and then paint it with whatever i got. I might have some royal blue around the place. Uh... That'll look much better than it was, because the bog was peeling off and it was rusting underneath. So, yes, time to do spot repairs, and then get the whole car re-sprayed. Awful job, but that will do. So it's painted, sealed. Let's put rust treatment over the crow's feet there, just to stop it rusting and leaching out like it was. I can't be bothered doing the whole thing. I don't really have time for this today, but I figured why not. 
Um, rust treated and sealed that side. And this side I rust treated and just put seam seal all on here for now. That filled all the little holes so water can't get in where I don't want it to. And then once that cures I'll just paint it over. And that should last until the car gets painted.